And honestly, I think if this thing sold for $4 million, it would break all records. The only pair I'll ever see is Travis Scott PlayStations. These we have for 130. This is actually a sample. So it comes with a sample box. How much do you think I paid for these? 400 bucks. And that was ridiculous at that time. <laughs> we always got to pull something out. out. Yeah. Like, trust me, you haven't seen everything. Guys, it's that time of year again coming to Project Blitz with Dre and we just look at some stuff in the vault. First off, we got to promote the website. Right That's off the right. rip. Right off the rip. Let them know. Projectblitz.com is back. Projectblitz.com is back. Officially. It was yeah. down for a little bit. They're back up and running. So we will leave the link down below if you guys want to shop. A, a lot of this stuff in this room is probably not going to be on the website, right? Or is it? Oh, we are. We've developed uh, all these other sections that are going to oh, uh, open up. Okay. Okay. Um, so this summer we're going to do a lot of marketing and it's going to start filtering in a lot of different pieces on there. You're going to be able to actually bid on certain items. You're going to be able to throw offers on certain items. Oh, that's fire. What projectblitz.com is also a gallery. So you can just go around and look at a bunch of vintage Supreme, a bunch mm -hmm. of vintage sneakers and, and see like the, the photography. I remember when we were younger, me and my boys, when I was living in the Bay before we had ever met, when Project Blitz, the original website launched, it was a big deal. Like Sneaker News posted about it. It was all over Nike Talk. We would literally do that. We'd go on there. We couldn't afford to buy anything at the time but we would go on there and i would look at all the kobe basketball shoes the lebrons and now it's crazy that we're friends and i come in here and film all the time so it's like full circle moment you know what i'm saying i love that yeah, yeah. it's crazy so you're a yeah. fan oh yeah i'm a big fan <laughs> yeah of course he is and should, I we talk, should we talk about those those terrible trades that uh that you, let's that you, let's, that let's not get into that today yeah. let's not mention the maroon for all human race for once all right now before we get into this project blitz video i gotta make a quick announcement i'm not gonna take too much of your time because i know y'all want to see some crazy sneakers but i gotta let you guys know that next weekend july July 22nd, bam, we're gonna be at Got Soul Los Angeles. It's gonna be a crazy event. I'm gonna be there, Blueface is gonna be there. You never know who's gonna pop in. So get your tickets, I'll leave the link down below. If you're in LA or the SoCal area or anywhere in Cali, pull up. It's at the LA Convention Center too, right next to Staples Center. Don't miss out, get your tickets. Now getting to this Project Blitz video, in the beginning, literally the first clip, the brightness was off on on the camera it was a little oversaturated so i apologize but we quickly fixed it so enjoy it get your popcorn get ready and if y'all want to see more videos of me at project blitz because i'm always down to go back you guys know what to do show your support and hit the thumbs up that's gonna let me know that you guys want to see more content like this all right don't just ignore me saying that actually do it so i know y'all want it all right hit the thumbs up and then also maybe comment what the craziest shoe is that you saw in this video all right Let's get into it. You know what these are, right? This is the new pair, the new undefeated. Is the rumor true that these were made for Drake? Not Technically, sure. what was was being said is these were all remade in 2017 for celebrities because they don't have a chance to get them and wear them. So they wanted to make them something that they could wear. And here's, here's the original. It's crazy. There's no comparison to the original. Damn. The OG is way better. It has like a more of a faded look. It has more of like a military look to it. Yeah, I mean, well, that material is just a real pigskin. This is what the yeah. M&Ms is is made mm. with and then the satin tongue they didn't do that on the new version that's what i'm saying look the tongues one is satin one isn't even the orange is a little bit more vibrant on the og yeah dude these are crazy this looks like it's my size huh size 10. Yeah, I, love, I don't even want to i don't even want to hear anything about a trade i'll give you, you i'll give you 10 bands you're lucky i'm smiling on this, on this video right now <laughs> this is the one right here y'all this is literally kobe warren game worn he wore these versus mj when he was a sneaker free agent and they're signed on top of that i mean yeah you know i'm, I'm like grew up i was a laker fan i loved magic i loved kareem loved everyone loved kobe actually when kobe first went on the lakers i was hating on him Really? I was. You didn't like the young rookie? <laughs> no, I didn't like the young rookie because I thought he was ball hogging and he was bricking. A in the playoffs and I was like, he was pull him out, get it. I was like, get it, sit him <laughs> on the bench. But he made up for it the, the, the second year when he actually started getting an assist here yeah. and there. You can actually but, see like the creases on the shoe because obviously he played in these. Like this has probably got to be one of those gems that you still can't believe you have in here, right? Yeah, I did I did a trade with a, with a friend because he wanted a Paris dunk. The crazy thing is both of the value of those shoes went up 
yeah tremendously yeah because you got this obviously before he passed right i mean this shoe was being sold for like three thousand twenty five hundred he was selling it for twenty five hundred dollars yes. that's and we, crazy and we traded we traded the shoes this for has got to be a million dollar product like it has to be well do you remember the space gems yeah that one is obviously like a million dollar shoe but this now i mean just you asking i wouldn't sell it for a million bucks if you own this would you sell it for a million bucks? hell no no it's priceless it's priceless bro. how about two two's up there bro i said i i would think about i would think about two yeah. but there's always a if somebody said four what would you say fours i feel like i have yeah. Like, I mean, I love Kobe, but that's life changing, bro. So we got somebody out there that wants to offer $4 million. Anything less, we'll just have to think about it. And honestly, I think if this thing sold for $4 million, it would break all records. It would. That's size 14, obviously Kobe size, game worn, signed, both sides signed. This is also another original. Dead stock, perfect, but it's very special. It's a size 11. I told myself I'll maybe wear these one day. Damn, and this is But not, it might be a bad move to do that. This isn't from the double pack. This is an original. This is not, this is not a re-release. We always got to pull something out. out. Yeah. Like, trust me, you haven't seen everything. <laughs> yeah, There's know. always going to be something that you haven't seen, but this one's crazy, right? Yeah, insane. Obviously, when you come in here, you got all these PEs from different colleges. I stay away from all these because, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to turn into GRs, Florida Gators, Oklahoma right here. These are so fire. This is an old one. You can see it's starting to... Uh, the gold is starting to oxidize. You know how you can tell somebody's wearing a fake chain, fake gold chain. <laughs> the, the neck turns green. I think it was Marshall Falk when he was when he was on uh, the Rams. Uh, oh, so this is a football player. Yeah, one okay. of the first ones that they made for like a football player, and this was back in uh, 2002. Jordan nine P's were sick, dude. Here's like a Bibby nine, white purple. I think Bibby and Ray Allen had the best PEs. Oh yeah, hands down. Here's a really sick Ray Allen PE that was we had sitting around oh my God. and hidden away for many, many years because I couldn't show it, but. Oh, the 20 on the back? Look at the 20 on the back. So this is from Boston days, huh? Yeah, so this is the pair for the finals that they never wore. See, it's like a uh, black and gold Space Jam. Yeah. This is one of my favorite ones. You know who this is? Sean Marion. That's right, right. The Matrix. The Matrix, bro. But I love these because look at the colors, yeah. right? Yeah, you don't see it like that. So if this released, nobody would care, but mm -hmm. that's why sometimes these colors just gotta remain PEs and just be that way. Yeah. Because, you know, that's what makes them special. These are actually Kobe's Concord 11 Lowe's, size 14 in there. Yeah. These are worn by him and they were made with this lasering done on the midsole and all over the patent. It's like a collage and it was like everything Kobe. Yeah, it's really hard hard to make out. You gotta yeah. really look into it. But Wait, I remember his initials right here. Yeah, yeah, right there. The KB, right on the side. Wow, this is cool. You could just spend a lot of time just like deciphering <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, should we take you wanna take this home and decipher it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might not get it back. Oh yeah, home. there's a KB right there. I know, right? Especially <laughs> since uh, you know the two trades. No, and then like all of a sudden it. I'm gonna get back some oh here's your 11 lows back and it's like wait 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 but where's all the lasering and this is a size 7 where's the 14 <laughs> but nobody even knows about that there I was no story there was no anything on that but you know that was done uh, all in house and that was uh, gifted to him by a, a Nike exec what's up with these I've never seen these before yeah these are the De La Soul original samples so the swoosh on here is the only part that actually has like the album cover motif and then SP Crispies is like their uh, I want to say they're like label. It's just, just super rare. Yeah. I remember seeing these years ago and I got them like 10 years later. Damn. It's crazy. Quasimodo. This is like a, a rapper. I think he was from the Northwest. I don't know, Seattle or Vancouver or something like that. If if I'm not mistaken. It actually, it might be someone, someone else, but it's on Stone, Stone Throw Records. Travis actually loved this shoe because it's all his colors. Mm -hmm. Like uh, dark gray, blue, and brown. But yeah, this is one of like the unsung heroes. And then Trav ended up uh, wearing them and then these things like really blew up. What do you think of these? They're actually pretty fire. You know, I'm actually one of the few people who like Dunk Hides over Dunk clothes oh really yeah i just for me personally they just fit better back when sbs came out these were on the box it's written as sp so they're nike dunk low sp it okay. doesn't say sp is it special project it's probably yeah special yeah. project yeah but they are an sb and it, it's part of the sb line and they're both collabs with two big skate brands at the time being uh chocolate you mm -hmm. know chocolate skateboards and it was done by richard Mulder. and then this was uh made 
for Zoo York. Remember I Zoo remember York? Zoo York, yeah. These were really fire for me. Like they were black and brown. Brown was really hot back then in like 2000 to 2003, and now it also you know came back now. But for a while, nobody like wanted that um, that brown color. But these are like really sick. Which one would your fans like more? I would probably say just this one because I hate to say it, but if this was like a Travis, people would go crazy with it. Oh, that's you know right. I mean? That's right. Like, we'll pull out one of the big dogs right here. It's almost like a reverse Paris with the uh, this uh, the money motif. This is obviously done by Futura, mm -hmm. legendary street artist. Shout out to Lenny. He's like one of the, the illest out there. It's literally a collage of all different like world currencies on it. And then it's like a brown leather wallet. And the, you know, the flam, they did a skate deck with it too. But yeah, these are one of my favorites too. You know, I gave up getting a, a ten and a half in these for two thousand bucks. Yeah, I really screwed up. I should have got these. I mean, a while ago. If I did, I'd be wearing them for sure. Yeah, but it's a lot of these SBs that you got for low or sold for low, like now they're worth crazy prices. You couldn't predict it, you know? No, I know. I mean, my own personal Paris that I, I wore, I paid uh, seven hundred bucks for it. That's crazy. And you yeah. wear them to like the club and everything. Yeah, I just I, well, I mean, I was wearing them to clubs and all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Yeah. But nobody would have known that they're they are what they are. Yeah. And I was just wearing them at SneakerCon this weekend in Vegas, and yeah. you know, people were going nuts still, and yeah. they're so beat. I've been I was offered in London off my feet like twenty thousand pounds. Damn. Yeah. So obviously you know what these are. Yeah. This is the very first Freddy I ever got, and uh, you know when they canceled them they oiled the shoes yeah this so, one still has the oil so huh? this one still has like the oil i kind of like it like that it makes yeah. them look like real like, you know freddie was burned and all that yeah. the cool thing about it is is how much you think i paid for these i want to say 1500 400 bucks oh my god and that man. was ridiculous at that time, <laughs> at the time yeah at the time to spend 400 dollars on a dunk was insane with no box i was thinking do you think i should just rock these one day i think you should I think I feel like this is something you bust out for the, you know, eventually when you guys open up the Blitz store or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like when you do another crazy display at Complex Con or something, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, this, this is, uh, I might as well, right? Yeah. I mean. It's your size. It's yeah, tempting. It we know you, yeah. right? <laughs> All right, we're going to do uh, Dre unde Undead Stocks, his original. Uh, we'll let the comment section decide. Guys. Yeah. Should I undead stock these or what? We Should I rock these? At least 5,000 likes and he'll undes these well, why right don't here. You let them know how much it's worth now? As, as is, because most of them don't have boxes. Mm -hmm. Like they, they sell for like 25 to 35, even $40,000 depending on the size. This being a 10 and a half, it's on the upper side. So, I mean, that, that might be the move. There's a couple couple shoes I uh, undead stocked this year, the Heineken's. And I did that at the event we, we had with, uh, with eBay in Portland. You know, there's this pair and the Tiffany Low. The OG shout out to Diamond. That is also like a big shoe that I never ever wore. Goes for like 4,000 bucks now. But I never wore it because it was just that good. It was about 100K? Yeah, and this is actually a sample. So it comes with a sample box oh. and sample tags. Oh yeah, sample, promo sample. Yeah, made in Taiwan. Constructed slightly better. It was just like, it's like a perfect sample. Uh, these we have for 130. 130? Oh, There's goodness. really no samples out there. There's like yeah, a, yeah. a couple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So but these never even came out. This whole model never came out. Ye made this colorway. So this is definitely a, uh, you know, Kanye Hirachi. Only a few people have these. I think they went for like 50, 60 grand on Sotheby's a couple years ago. So now, I mean, they're worth way more. What we have here is another color, another version. This was actually done, I'm assuming with them. So I was told this is also like a Kanye colorway. What I think the story was that Ye made these for like his boys all play ball in or something like that. Oh really? Yeah, and so everyone like busted him in a gym. Yeah. So there's like several used pairs floating around. So one of the times when we made a video here, somebody from Bibby's camp saw the video, they showed it to Bibby and we showed these right here and Bibby never even got this PE. So he reached out to you guys and he's like, where did you get that from, right? Yeah, he was like, yo, those are fake. I never got <laughs> those so um i actually I'm, i was actually glad that happened and yeah. so i invited him over but i don't think he's never been able to make it yet yo mike we got to get you out here but i definitely got to be here for that if baby does pull up you got to let me know Th this one right here caught my eyes when we walked in because i had never seen it before and well if you you can actually like google this and see it like uh on soul collector and a bunch of stuff this is actual laser unc jordan 10 it's a one-on-one along the theme of when they were like lasering a bunch of stuff yeah open open this up and 
I'll let you pull it out down there. The one down there? Oh, I've seen these before. This is the one with the 20 bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. So it's a crazy sample for those that would like appreciate. It's a Jordan 20 sole attached to a Jordan 10 upper. Upper. Yeah. Ray Allen ring ceremony from when he was on Miami, right? Yeah. This is from the Miami days, the 34 on the back. Look at that, even on tongue. This is not the Jim Jones version though. Bruh. You know, do you know Jim Jones pulled these out, I think, and they were fake or something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, there's a handful of real ones out there. Yeah. Everyone always had some fake one. Yeah. That's right. It was, uh, <laughs> That's so it was Jim Jones. That Jim, had that shout one. to Jim Jones. Yeah. Original, what is this, 80, uh, 84, 85? This is 85. Did you watch the Air movie? What did you think? Honestly, I didn't get to see it yet. You haven't seen no. it? <laughs> it's on know. Amazon. You can watch it. I know. It now. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm definitely gonna take a Dude, look and check it out. You will love it. It's I know. So I didn't. I didn't get to do it. You know how like they're imitating the those bleach, <laughs> yeah. sun bleach laces now. Yeah. But it still looks really cool. Did that do that naturally on white laces? That's or? naturally. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, naturally on the blue laces. Yeah. On the royal blue laces. Oh, oh. that was original blue. Yeah. Damn. So when you find them like that, it's because of this, the the UV bleaching after all these years. Yeah. Kind of sick, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, now they're mimicking the Jordan ones to look like this, yeah. like the Lost and Founds. Mm -hmm. Not the reimagines. The reimagines don't look anything like that. These are my favorite. All the, the metallics. So the metallic green, the metallic orange, and mm -hmm. the metallic purple are my favorite OG um, Jordan ones. Yeah. I love these. I love the orange one. But it's so crazy how they released the purple ones like two years ago and nobody cared. They made them for women, remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I don't, I, they just didn't, look how shiny that is. Yeah, it wasn't as shiny at all. After it looked, all these it years. It looked like, like plastic. Yeah. This actually looks shiny. But they did make the metallic uh, Jordan 4s. Mm -hmm. They did orange, red, yeah. green, and uh, purple yeah. based on this. Yeah. I thought that was really cool, actually. Yeah. I think that's the right way to like pay homage to a shoe. Yeah. Like, you've seen the dmp 11s they're releasing this year right like that's in my opinion that's tr like it's trash like if you're if they're trying to honor that shoe without making exact exactly the same i don't think they did a good job mm. like a leather upper on an 11 i'm just not a fan i like the regular yeah. mesh no i know they like they do the i was always upset when they did the the leather upper on the lows yeah Remember the og lows yeah. they do all those leather uppers and i'm like dude i want that mesh on there yeah the mesh see if you're an og sneakerhead you like the mesh a lot of people in the comment section were like oh no i want leather it's more premium but like 11s are made to have mesh on the upper bro here we go you had to pull them out Still here, through all these years. The worst trade I ever made in the, in the history of my sneaker career. Guys, go shop projectblitz.com. This guy's a full scammer. Projectblitz.com, hit the link down below. Make up for my L trade for him. You know, get, you get, get him some sales. I got the Oregon 5. I took an L2. Oh, yeah. No, you did it. At the time, that was, it was huge. It was a big, it was a yeah, big dub. at the time, it was a big W. But, not, but Karma hit him, you know? But so. at the time, that yeah, was karma a Karma hitting you like it's hitting some other ones these days. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Shop Project projectblitz.com link down below at project blitz <laughs> at project blitz follow him on instagram we'll leave the link all down below you know the drill cpa my my warrior oh god chris paul cp even though you know what i'm saying I've, I've had a lot of hatreds towards him now he's a warrior i got to back off all a little bit of a sudden. he had some great pe's though like this is hard we can't show that one yeah Y'all gotta wait for this box right here. Eventually, I've seen it like three years ago, but one day we'll be able to pull that out. But we can pull these out, and we have pulled them out before. But it's always great to see these because it's probably only the only pair I'll ever see. But boom, the Travis Scott PlayStations. The box is up there. This is the actual box that's inside the box. But can I touch them, or I need gloves? Um, I don't know. Did you eat, did you eat uh, no, halal with your hand? <laughs> <laughs> not today no just a little okay, so no, no greasy no, no grease greasy i fingers. promise i'll just hold it from the insole yeah keep it from the inside wow look at this man i remember when you first got them we opened them up and we realized that these were made in oregon right they're made in like the nike lab yeah the i mean as lab. it looks there's no there's no inner tags they're built complete different than the other ones yeah. i don't know if they make the soles in china and they just have them there but it looks like this is Made in the USA. Look at that. I think that says PlayStation on that one. And then if we get this shoe right here, if I wanted to buy this off you right now, what is it going to run me? Uh, bro, it's not going to happen. <laughs> this, this is not going to happen. Not, gonna happen. Not, yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not right now. Not right now. But if somebody were to come in here, you would consider it or are you just holding on to these? You know, like I said, dude, there's always there's always something you can't refuse. Yeah. Right? Everything has a price. You'd be foolish to refuse something. Yeah, these are beautiful. I see a lot of people making customs because 
you know, this is probably a shoe none of us will ever own, but Blitz got him. Before you close it. Oh, you gotta get your Snap content too? She's verified on Snapchat, so she goes hard with the content. There it is. They actually made the swoosh like way smaller. Or usually they, when they do the backward swoosh on the Jordan 1, they have it cut off at the midsole. But for this one, they just did it fully on the shoe. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's yeah, it is smaller. It is smaller, yeah. I kind of like it like this too, but then I feel I think it looks good on the uh, the Jordan One highs. But I feel like for the dunk, it looks good on the the way that they did it on this mm -hmm. one. I wonder if any like PlayStation higher ups have pairs and they just don't even realize mm -hmm. like what it's worth. Like, give it a few years, there'll be more pairs of these in the in the vault. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. Maybe some worn ones. And if you uh, if you do have them, you know where to come to and sell them. <laughs> oh my god, it's my size too, bro. Like You don't even wear dunks. One day I'll bring my life savings and offer him something. <laughs> <laughs> Pull us something random. Oh, what the hell? This is another bibby? This is a good bibby. Whoa. What what was this made for? The teal Vancouver Grizzlies. Oh shoot, that's hard. The bro, green. I haven't looked at these in a long time. Yeah, these are Crazy. Yeah, it's like that teal green. Yeah. Oh, this one's crazy for your Bay Area heads. Yeah. This is a 19 SE. Who do you think that is for? 16. Um. You know what team that is? Kings? Yep. Who is 16 Jordan Brand? Hold on, let me guess. Let me guess. I don't want... Peja wasn't with Jordan Brand. Um... This is Peja? Stojakovic. No way. Oh, yeah. 16. Okay, Peja Stojakovic. There you go. That's crazy. Was yeah. he with Jordan Brand? Yeah. I gotta show these to Harris because he's like a diehard Peja Kings fan. Yeah, because like, you know, Peja, they're Serbian. I'm Croatian. Yeah. I wanted to get his signature on mm -hmm. these. I actually have the, the other one too. I think he's still like... Um, Check the size on those. 16 US, yeah. Oh, the black pair. Oh, the black pair is hard. Yeah, right? Damn, he was a 16? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's like... Same thing as LeBron. Still works for their front office, I believe, Peja. So he's really? still like in Sacramento. So hey, if anybody knows Peja and uh, he wants to come sign these for us, let us know. And then obviously we got the purple Travises, the brown Travises, Legends of the Summer, a whole bunch of heat. This is all stuff that we've shown before. So we don't really got to get too much into those ones, but it's still cool. I love these, the Westbrook PEs. I think those are so hard, bro. So a lot of celebrities, players, people come into Blitz and sometimes they got their own shoes here, so obviously if they have their shoe here, they're gonna get them to sign these. This is an up-tempo, signed by Scottie Pippen. Made it out to Blitz, which is super, super dope. And uh, weren't you telling me like he doesn't get royalties from this shoe, because technically it wasn't like his signature shoe, even though he was the endorser or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so the crazy thing is, um, he was wearing the shoe, but it was before the, he, before the Pippen won. Mm -hmm. So he wore these, and they blew up. And this is still a shoe that they rerun, but he doesn't get um, any royalties off of it. Royalties That's crazy. off of it. This is, yeah, this was, uh, Air Up Tempo was one of my first like uh, sneakers when I was a kid, so. Which colorway was your favorite? I think just the OG black and white. Mine was the all white. Oh, the all white? The all yeah. white. I have the, the, I had the black and white. That's why like I still have photos. Like I was wearing it to my like birthday party at uh, like this little golf mini golf place. So mm -hmm. I got like photos with that shoe. How was that being in the Bay and being a Kobe fan. Well, I'm a, so I always get a People, lot of like, haters yeah. for because I'm a Warriors fan, but then I'm also a Kobe fan. For me, it was Kobe over everything. Um, so when Kobe would face the Warriors, I'd be in a Kobe jersey. But when it was just Warriors, I'd be in a Warriors but now jersey. Like, oh, oh, wow. The bandwagon. Yeah, now, no, now I get the bandwagon talk. Oh, but wow. I mean, I don't know, man. Every time I watch Kobe play, and I'm sure you know, you watch Kobe play too, it's just there was just something about him. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never cried when it comes to sporting, like even when Warriors won their championship. But when they won that championship versus Boston, when they lost and then came back a couple, what, two years later and then won, like I actually cried. It was a game seven too. You remember that one, yeah. right? 2012, game seven. 2012, I believe. Yeah, I actually cried when he won that championship. Like, yeah. When they beat Boston. Yeah. I was there at that game. Really? Game seven? Crazy. Yeah. Damn, so Crazy. lucky. I got to go to Kobe's final game. That was probably the, the biggest game I've ever I been I was there to. too. Were you? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that one was crazy. I was like, uh, like th three, four rows behind the backboard or something. Me like too. That. Really? Yeah, yeah. So we got to compare videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're sitting in the I mean, that's like one of my most popular videos. I vlogged it. Um, really? Yeah, and then um, I was by myself. Like I, I worked with SeatGeek, and they only gave me one ticket because it was so expensive. 
usually they give me like two three tickets three four tickets for that one they're like oh we can only do one ticket because i think it was like five six k that's when he was yeah. hitting all those threes yeah, and all that dude, shit it was Remember insane that? bro that, that, that was, was like a was movie a, yeah. it did not seem real it was like it was scripted i know people make jokes about the nba being scripted but that game felt like it was scripted how many points did he have S 60. 60 yeah it was crazy no i feel like obviously jordan we were just, is we were going crazy like i don't think anybody will ever have a final game like that mm -hmm. like I know LeBron's probably gonna have his final game in a few years, but I don't think anybody's going out like. I think he retired too early. What do you think? Oh, 100 percent. I agree. I, I for mm -hmm. sure he could have won a couple more years. Not in his prime, obviously, but still he could have been. At but least I like out the there. way he went out, though. Yeah, you know and then the mean? mic drop at the end, Mamba mm -hmm. out. Ain't no gimmick. Don't need no gimmicks. Got no limits. No speaking limit. Used to be 